Well, because there are motion in this because you read that and read. It's crazy. And I think that that's what I would caution fans, especially Raider fans, because when you look at their needs and what they're going to do in the NFL draft and in the trade market, free agency, whatever, is that uh, you, you have to look at the need and, and, and trust in the fact that the Raiders evaluation process, i.e. their scouts, i.e. Antonio Pierce, the head coach and his coaching staff and Tom Telesco can make those judgments. But I think we're so quick to judge those names that I think people forget sometimes where even in Raider history, guys like Jim Plunkett, guys like Rich Gannon, some of these guys that were just thrown aside as washed up and couldn't do it, ended up becoming some of the greatest players in Raiders history. Yeah, I read the tweet from Lewis Riddick and I, I agree. Like a lot of and what I got from it was that while we can evaluate these quarterbacks hours and hours and hours you can watch hours of film and still get it wrong simply because depending on what their environment is what they situation. walk into their situation it, it will it can and usually does impact mm-hmm. how well or how poorly they're going to play